Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Um, today we're going to be looking at 5 commercials that for some reason just are creepy as hell. I'm almost certain that every single one of these that we are looking at today did air on TV, so you actually might have seen these. One of them just makes no sense, the other one is pure genius, let's just get into this. So the first one we're going to be looking at is arguably probably the most famous. So Sony decided to go on this weird PlayStation 3 commercial tyrant, well, I don't know what they were doing, um, but I think they did a great job. They released a bunch of these really creepy PlayStation 3 commercials with these like babies and these Rubik's cubes in this white room. They did this a lot during this time, and honestly, it was really effective. There's something about these commercials that I just absolutely love the aesthetic of, and I really think that companies should bring this back. I feel like right now it would be even more effective to bring this style back just because of how corporate and like run-of-the-mill all these ads are these days. It basically shows this baby just sitting in a room, an empty white room with a PlayStation in front of him. It's not a real baby, it's like this weird animatronic puppet. It sees the PlayStation, and it just starts laughing in this super deep voice. There's not really much to it besides that it is really creepy and made me want a PlayStation. I have no idea. I don't know why. It just did. But yeah, I love these ads. They went so hard. They need to bring them back. And uh, let's move on to the next one. So this one is also really famous. It's a guy covered in ice cream and he's just eating it. He's just eating it off himself. And how I shine. And how my pores are so clean and clear. And there's this uh, dialogue over it, and he's just talking about how he's so light and sweet. It's kind of weird. I don't know why I said it's kind of weird. Obviously, you can see it right now. It's it's very weird. But I definitely remember seeing this when I was around like 12 to 11 years old. And it's one of those things that you just can't get out of your head. Every time I see ice cream, I always think about that dude scooping off the top of his head. Because I'm not even going to lie, bro. He made it low-key look super yummy. But this is for little babies ice cream. This one, I don't think aired. So in the beginning, I said that all these commercials aired. I'm pretty sure that this one didn't. I could be wrong. I think this was specifically made for YouTube. And it worked. It got 20 million views, 190,000 likes. Like, that was. this is really smart. If you're a business major, start taking notes because this is how you do advertising right here. Yeah, once again, there is not much to this one. It is just a dude eating yogurt off of his head. And uh, let's move on to the next one. This next one is a Kinder Egg commercial. I'm not entirely sure what language he's speaking. It portrays, I'm pretty sure this is Humpty Dumpty, um, opening up Kinder Eggs and there's toys in them. When I was doing curation for this video, this was a huge one. Oi, yodel yum and choco scrum with multi pump rubber dies. Oh, grubby. A lot of people were talking about that this commercial freaked them out. And honestly, I don't blame them. Just look at this guy. I'm kind of baffled that Kinder Surprise Eggs like actually existed because, dude, there's no way like, I, I might want to check this real quick. So I just looked it up and in 2000, three families lost children due to choking on the toys inside of the eggs. I just feel like it's such an oversight to just put toys inside of something that's consumable and then market it for kids. I get it that you're supposed to be a parent, you need to look over your child eating these things, but that just seems like such an oversight. So anyways, we will move on to the next one. This one was just really popular, so I had to talk about it. Next up, you guys are not going to guess what this commercial is. I'm going to play it for you, and then you're going to try to guess. <laughs> Okay, so put your guesses in the comments. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It is a tire commercial. Yes, this was a tire commercial. So this is a tire commercial from Japan, but she actually holds up a sign at the end that says, have you ever put a snow tire on your car? Is there a lot of correlation between this and tires? No, not really. Is it effective? I'm not entirely sure, but it does fit the mold of being a scary and creepy commercial. Once again, I do not know a lot about this one, and uh, we will move on to the final commercial. So this is one that actually freaked me out when I was younger. So Snickers released this Halloween grocery store lady commercial, and 
I understand that it is trying to be funny and it, it is, but there's still that creepiness to it because this lady just straight up looks like a creepy pasta. I'm only helping Snickers. She's like seven foot tall. She can reach all the way on top of the aisles. She's trying to get this lady to get Snickers inside of her car because she said all the kids love them. She probably means no harm. You know, she's just trying to help out. Get her some creds with the kids. Tell them, yeah, Miss Johnson got some Snickers in her in her bowl. Let's go to her house. But I just cannot shake that feeling of this creep. Imagine seeing this thing at like in the middle of the night chasing you. Hell no. I feel like anything chasing you in the middle of the night is creepy, but this specifically, I'd probably die of a heart attack before it actually like reached me. It actually turned out to be a bunch of kids inside of a costume trying to get her to buy Snickers so they can go to her house to get free Snickers, which is low-key kind of smart. But if I didn't add that little part and I didn't see that part, it would have made it so much more mysterious and uh, just overall a creepier vibe. I'm sorry for the short video today, guys, but these are all the commercials that I could find that were actually kind of unnerving. I also have a lot of schoolwork to do. I have to write like two papers, so I have to get that done. But I love making these small little videos because I don't think everything needs to be a 40 minute video sometimes. I just think, you know, make this small little video, maybe show you guys something you haven't seen before. And overall, just have a good time with my viewers, look at some videos, give you guys some content to watch. But yeah, thank you so much for sticking around and thank you so much for the support on the most recent video. There will be more to come. And yeah, what are your creepiest commercials? Leave them in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.